I am Brian Kunkel. I am the Ornamentals IPM Extension Specialist here at the University of Delaware. And I have in my hand a spotted lanternfly nymph. They are a type of hopper that will move from place to place uh, by jumping. And they're quite strong jumpers. I feed on a number of trees. I've got a tree of heaven right here. Females last fall laid their eggs on the tree. And then once we got to around 200 or so growing degree days, the eggs started to hatch. As nymphs, they can also feed on plants like roses. And they also like red maple. If you have had spotted lantern flies around your home last fall, it's a good idea to look at the undersides of leaves of the plants around your home this spring. If you don't have very many, uh, I'd try to squish what you could. If you have a lot of them, you'd use something like insecticidal soap, but you'd have to contact the insect, spray the undersides of the leaves, and make sure that that product hits the insect. Otherwise, you won't get control. It does a good job at managing nymphs, but has uh, very little residual activity, and it uh, has little impact on other arthropods unless it comes in contact with them. If you happen to get some of the insecticidal soap onto flowers, um, you may get a little bit of burn of the petals, but any insect that visits the flower later in the day, it's gonna be okay. Other products that you can use, uh, things like Seven, an insecticide that can be used as a contact spray. But again, you have to get the undersides of the leaves and make sure that it hits the insect. I mean, it only lasts about two weeks though or a product that has bifenthrin in it. So bifenthrin is the active ingredient. It's a pyrethroid. Seven and bifenthrin are broad spectrum insecticides, meaning that they have activity or toxicity to a large range of arthropods. And this includes bees. And so you have to be cautious around flowering plants when you're spraying these insecticides. There are other products that you can use out there. There are some systemics. You could apply them as soil drenches or any time after the plants have bloomed because there's still research being done to see what sort of impact these systemics have on pollinators. There's a number of traps uh, or sticky bands that you could put on trees. Try to put a mesh over it. It discourages birds and other small animals from going to the sticky bands, so it minimizes the risk to them. Try to report them to the Department of Agriculture. We'll be able to keep abreast of where the spotted lantern fly is and where it's moving to.